Hi, I'm Sheena Joy. I'm a macrame textile artist, and I'm here to simply inspire you to do the same. If that's your jam, subscribe and hit the bell notifications. Okay, so to start this project, we're going to tie all 20 strands of cord using a lark's head knot on our wooden dowel. Try to space them evenly, but don't worry, we can adjust them later. Next, we're going to tie a series of square knots. This first knot I'm going to keep in real time for you, but we're going to go straight across the whole wooden dowel. If I'm going too fast, no worries, I do have a knot tutorial playlist that I will link for you in the description box. So let's motor on ahead and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so you may find it easier to remove the first two cords and the very last two cords to keep it out of your way. Okay, so we're going to alternate our square knots and to do this you take two cords from the first square knot and the next two cords from the second square knot, if that makes sense. And we're going to continue on going straight across. We're going to repeat the same process again by removing the first two cords and the last two cords and then we're going to stagger our square knots again and go straight across. And we're going to keep repeating this pattern until we get to the very last square knot at the bottom. If you had removed all your cords out of the way like I did, it's time to pull them down and kind of straighten them out again. We're going to need them. Grabbing the very first cord, we're going to use this as our lead cord and we're going to tie double half hitches along this cord. To tie a double half hitch, you're grabbing the next cord and you're looping it up and around the lead cord twice. And that is how you do a double half hitch. Again, if I'm going too fast for you, feel free to check out my knot tutorial playlist. I have this in there and it's a lot slower and it makes a lot more sense. However, once you have the concept of the knots down, this is a very good, easy beginner project. Okay, so we're going to do the exact same thing, but to the other side. We're going to tie double half hitches all the way down to the very center. And of course, once you get to the bottom, you tie our two lead cords together using another double half hitch. Okay, so using our yarn now, we're going to tie gathering square knots on the first two cords of our project. A gathering square knot is also called a wrap square knot. It just kind of depends on how you're using it. I mostly refer it to as a gathering square knot because you're taking two different cords and you're gathering it together and you're wrapping the square knot around those cords. It sounds super confusing, but um, it makes a heck of a lot of sense when you watch it. Anyways, so what I'm doing here is I'm tying five square knots stacked on top of each other and then I'm just going to leave the yarn hang. You do not have to use yarn if you don't want to. You can use a different colored cotton cord, but yarn is a bit more inexpensive. It's easier to get your hands on and it comes in many different colors and I kind of like the fact that it gives it a little bit different texture as opposed to just using the cotton cord. I'm using a deep dark hunter green color, but in the video I think it's kind of coming across as black. I don't know, you tell me, do you see it as green or black? Okay, so that took a little while, but now we're going to tie another row of double half hitches. Of course, we're going to use the first cord as our lead cord, and then we're going to tie our double half hitches along that. Okay, it might look a little confusing, but we're only going to be using the white cord to tie our double half hitches. We want to keep our yarn to the back of the project. Okay, so we're just going to keep going all the way down until we get to the very center and then we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. We are going to continue ignoring the green cords and we're going to focus on the white 
and we're gonna use the first four chords and we're gonna tie a berry knot. A berry knot is really simple. You wanna leave a little bit of a gap at the top and then you're going to tie three square knots in a row. Make sure you have a decent gap at the top. It's just gonna make your life a lot easier in this next part. You'll see why. For this next part, you're going to grab the two middle lead cords and you're going to stuff them up at the very top where you have your gap and you're going to roll your square knots onto each other. This forms a little ball or a berry knot. To secure your berry knot, you just want to tie one extra square knot so that it doesn't roll away from you. This knot looks more complicated than it actually is. It's a really easy knot. But we're gonna continue on and we're gonna do a whole series of berry knots. And this is our final row. We're gonna do another row of double half hitches all the way down. And remember to ignore that green yarn that's behind the project. If you wanted to, you could have weaved the yarn behind itself and then trimmed it. That way you don't see any of the green cord dangling down. But I kind of like the look of the cord dangling behind the project. It just adds more texture. And then you awkwardly pet your project before you trim the ends. I swear, I've never realized how much I pet my projects until I go and edit a video. It's ridiculous. Hopefully I'm not the only one who does that. If you like this video, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Also, here are two more videos I think you'll enjoy. I'll see you over there.